ahead and count that. What was your boy Jacob Shaw? What was your boy? What was your boy? What was your boy? Love you. Woo! Okay, guys. So I'm just gonna pretend like I just walked in frame, like I didn't just turn my camera on, walk over there, and then walk in frame. But I guess there's no need for me to do the intro since my boy Drake, or as I like to call him for short, Abra Gonzalez, uh, just did it. I mean, there's, he did it, so there's no point in me doing it. Yeah, I can't just not do it. So what are you doing this other way today? We're going to go over this season. I almost said week, but this season's palace range now this is everything from the fall or autumn season as you guys know supreme normally does spring summer together and fall winter together spring summer normally sucks fat dick vienna sausage fall winter is usually always better than spring summer i don't know if it ever has not been and that's normally the case with most clothing brands in my personal opinion palace is no exception and that being said so far, I think this palace season is quite nice. I will say there are quite a few items I would not mind having in the personal collection. And last season, I thought palace was disgusting. Absolutely garbage, garbanzo beans, shit was gross. Oh, also, by the way, before some dumb mother is like, bro, why do you wear that shirt all the time? I only wear this shirt for palace range reviews. So four times a year, or I guess one time I did it three times in a year because you guys basically resuscitated the series from the grave by of course smashing that like button basically i made these videos they were doing really good and then i did one that didn't do that well so i was like okay maybe they don't want to see it so then i didn't do it and then a ton of people complained and they were like yo where's the range review bro i want to see the review yada 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 so then i did another one you guys killed it with the likes so this series is back in motion back from the grave so if you guys like this series and you guys want to continue seeing this series on my channel you guys want me to continue to review the palace ranges of course take a second to hit that little like button down below the little thumbs up i don't know which hand it is i don't know if it's right handed or left handed or maybe it's ambidextrous i have no motherfucking idea but take a second smash that like button and then let me know down in the comments below what are some pieces you guys like and what you guys think of this season because personally i'm not gonna lie this season's kind of gas all right guys just enjoy the uh view of my ass crack while i hit record and uh the fuck i'm just gonna Hopefully my laptop doesn't fall. All right guys, so uh, we are on the palace website. We're gonna hit autumn range right here uh, We're gonna look at a plethora of the items. We're not gonna go over every single item because we do not have time But we will discuss a majority of it. We're gonna discuss all the ones that fucking matter We're gonna skip all the shit that doesn't matter overall. I want to say uh, the outerwear is kind of trash I know I said this season's gas. I feel like there are some parts that are kind of lacking like their accessories and also their knits like it's an autumn season i would have loved to see some really sick ass knits like the one they did i believe two seasons ago some of the graphics they're using are really dope though so let's get into it and discuss so like this pure palace averix jacket uh absolutely disgusting it's not bad mm -hmm. Actually, it's kind of gas. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This piece is really fucking sick, actually, especially if you're into like 90s fashion. Um, that being said, I'm probably not gonna cop it because the retail is gonna be way too much money. It's gonna be like five, six hundred dollars. If you're into like that 90s style, they fucking killed this jacket. Um, it's not personally for me. I don't really like heavy jackets. Also, I'm really short. So jackets like this, I feel like make me just look more round because they're so big and bulky. Uh, the deflector jacket, I'm really tired of seeing all 3m shit like i see this way too much this jacket's really dope from a technical aspect like it has tons of freaking pockets you got a pocket for literally fucking everything you can hold your credit cards your freaking id all your credentials r.i.p my brother Kyrie, who couldn't spell that word the fanny pack is all he's a fanny pack type of bitch <laughs> me or him <laughs> you bitch that's you nigga you always gotta hold your extra credentials in your shit you spell credentials bitch you gotta hold spell your it. toothbrush to brush your dirty spell ass it. teeth spell credentials spell credentials spell credentials spell credentials spell credentials you dumbass bitch your dildo whatever the fuck you wanna hold you could hold in this jacket it looks like it has a plethora of pockets and basically uh, options for how you want to fit or whatever. It's got a bunch of like strings and shit dangling from this piece. Um, the Obsidian, Obsidian, Bomber. Yeah, that graphic is trash, so that's garbage. The gloss jacket, why? No one wants to look like Tin Man. I don't know why any brand ever does this. Every time this is done, this is disgusting. I've used this joke a thousand times now, but this looks like some shit that Missy Elliott wore in the 90s. Me, I'm super fly. It's disgusting. No one likes this. This has never done good. No brand has ever dropped this Glad trash bag bullshit or this fucking Tin Man bullshit 
and it done well. Like it just doesn't do good. Unless you make three of these, these are gonna sit on the site. Why do brands do this? I have no fucking idea. Okay, I'm getting way too worked up because at the end of the day, it's just clothing and it's not that serious. They just made a bad idea and I don't know who the fuck thought of that, but whoever thought of that should be fired or quit and should just never wear clothes again. Maybe just walk around butt naked in the Amazon rainforest because honestly, you have terrible taste. Okay, I'm kind of going in. Like I don't have good enough taste to be judging other people's taste. Anyways, moving on, ripped coach's jacket. This piece is fire. You have this like fucking panther on the back that looks super stoned. It looks like he smoked 14 blunts back to back. Like he is just so fucking blazed. Eyes red as shit, but he's tearing through the triferg. This is all embroidered, super gas. You guys know I love that thread count. We're gonna skip down to the Persalis shirt. I'm probably butchering that name. This shirt is absolutely disgusting. It's hideous. It's weird because I hate this shirt, but I fucking love these pants. Look at all these Greek gods just aligned right by your dick. Oh my god, what the fuck? My phone is spazzing. Anyways, look at all these motherfuckers just- you, Is that a Pegasus? Is that St. Michael just chilling right by your wiener? Then you got this dude by the ankle, like he's basically telling anyone that's like looking down at your kicks, like nah, don't look at the kicks, like look at the- Look at his back. I definitely need these and a fit pick at the Coliseum or maybe get into like some gladiator, gladi, gladiatorial, gladiatorial match. I don't fucking know what they call it. But these are so fucking sick. You guys know I love pants. I have an insane pant collection. I'm almost like addicted to having weird ass fucking pants. And I love this Renaissance art on the pantalones. That being said, the shirt, I don't know why I just don't like it. One, I don't like that it's just a single piece of fabric on the back. And then on top of that, even if it was all over print, I don't think I would really care for it. I feel like the Renaissance shit on tops have been done so much. Like on a denim pant, it's cool, but like on a sweat pant, a jersey short, or like a t-shirt, or even a button up, it just feels very like 2009. So for that reason, the shirt is definitely a pass. Now that being said, this corduroy shirt, minus the button, so gas. Look at this palace spell out right here. It's looking oh so sexy. I do not know if that's embroidered or printed. If it's printed, which palace loves to do, then this piece is definitely a pass. I also don't like that it has a curved bottom. I would prefer a flat bottom, but nonetheless, I love that they're doing corduroy. They usually kill it with corduroy. Anytime they use vintage fabrics or do vintage pieces, usually palace always kills it. I feel like a lot of the people that are incorporated or involved with Palace loves referencing vintage pieces. The armless shirt. I really do like this a lot. I love these gang signs on this shirt. Like, a crib. I'm just kidding. I think they're doing like the shadow puppet animals. But, I hate that it's a long sleeve. So, I'm gonna pass. But, that being said, if you get this shirt, and you get the pants where the individual is pointing up at your package. If you talk to any lady, she's gonna know, like she's gonna start staring straight at your junk. Cause you got this dude pointing down at the uh, cock region. And then you got the, you know what I'm saying? Shorty on the pant point up to the cock region. So it's like either way, unless she stares at you right into your beautiful eyeballs, there's no way she's not gonna check out the package. I'm just saying. So someone like myself that is uh, physically declined, probably does not want to buy these. Cause that's not my strong point. You know what I'm saying? My strong point is my mind. <laughs> All right, so the blender shirt's relevant. This contactless shirt is so fucking sick. Shout out to all my scammers out there, out there swiping cards, doing dirt. This piece is so dope. You have all these little like palace credit cards. I would love to actually have these credit cards. It would have been cool if they even did a credit card, kind of like Bape did, something like that. I don't know. Even as like a novelty accessory item, that would have been pretty dope. Maybe like a sticker pack that has these cards in it. I don't know. But that being said, this is definitely a must cop. I wonder what colors this comes in. Ooh, mm. yeah, definitely getting the yellow. The blue is cool, but the yellow, so beautiful. And I've been on my button up shit, so I have to acquire that. I kind of feel weird with like the all over print stuff. Nah, I'm lying. Nah, I'm totally, I don't feel weird about it at all, actually. I'm, I'm an idiot. Already to the pants, the Talica jeans, we're gonna skip. These Nyko P Carp pant, that's a weird name, but um, these will probably do pretty well for Palace. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about these like, different panels, especially like the khaki panel in the back. It's like assless chaps, but without the assless and it's just like a different panel over your ass. I do know that last time they did this camo, it did really well. I would have liked to just have the original. Mm. Dude, this is garbage. This eye pant is not eye. They're doing the sofa shell pant again, which once again has like the stitched little triferg. I feel like that's kind of their like essential piece. And they're just redoing that a lot, which is kind of a bummer, but nonetheless, still pretty fire. The G-Lo top. Oh, it's got like, oh, that's fire. That's pretty sick. And the zippers freaking glow in the dark. 
High beast fit with your glow in the dark Yeezys? The revealer shell jacket, the racer shell jacket, those are I. This zero zero hood, I would really like this. I love the font, I love the little leaf. It kind of feels like some like Irish pub vibe, but I hate the zero zero and palace on the back. Like those two styles don't match. Like this is like, yo, Irish pub, go drink a pint. Something I would see on like, maybe like, uh, what's that soccer gang movie called? Green Street Hooligans. Shout out if you're from the UK and you know that movie or if you're from here and know that movie. But this zero zero pals on the back is like some Formula One shit. I hate the difference and like, I don't know. I just feel like, yeah, it's trash. The G-Lo shell bottoms. This is the one that glows in the dark. I don't know why I said it like that. You got the triferg right there. It's all glow in the dark as you can see on the screen. Looking oh so beautiful. The full glow in the dark fit with the Yeezys. The revealer shell bottoms trash. Racer shell bottoms, the zero joggers. Ooh, do these not have the zero zero on them? Cause I might have to cop the pant. Ooh, ooh, if that's embroidered, your boy might have to cop one of thems. Why'd I say them like that? That was fucking annoying. The tri stripe zip. Is this a quarter zip? Oh yeah, sorry, we're moving on. Now this purple hood, this like acid wash hood is kind of sick. I'm liking the fact that it as, ooh, that one's kind of a vibe. And that graphic is kind of trippy. I'm kind of vibing with this. The window liquor hood, what the fuck is this? Okay, so this has like a wet graphic or a wet like window with the palace uh, triferg behind it. Nothing too creative, but I do kind of vibe with this, especially being from Washington. I really hope this is on a T. I'm just going to skip because I'm that type of person that doesn't like waiting. So please be on it. Dude, are you, are you kidding? Why would you drop that on a T? All right, so I had to restart the recording because I, I dropped my phone and it pulled out of the USB. And anyways. Moving on, I do not really like some of the flips they did, like this Porsche style or like Porsche graphic style crew neck. I know Boone liked this piece. I was not really feeling it, to be honest. I don't really care about any of these colors, any of these checker patterns. Tour de Force crew neck? Oh yeah, that's disgusting. They try to entice you by putting the like the graphic, have it showing the big trifurc on the back and then you see the front of it and you're like, oh, that's disgusting, that's fucking ugly. The split P3, I'm pretty stoked on. I love the P3 graphic. I also like that this one they're doing in a split color. Anytime Palace does multiple colors, anyone who follows Palace knows they actually do their graphics in different colors, which is pretty fucking dope. A lot of brands don't do that. Normally a brand will take one graphic and they'll put that same graphic on every single t-shirt. Not only do they alter colors, but sometimes they completely alter graphics. So for example, with some trifurgs, like one of these Skull uh, Palace uh, tees they did a while ago, each single Skull was a different graphic. So they use a different graphic on every single color. And I really appreciate when Palace does that. I need to take a quick second to rant about that because I really do appreciate it. And I do not want Palace to ever get lazy and stop doing that. That being said, um, these colors are all absolutely sexy. I love that blue with the blues. Ooh. Yeah, that blue one's by far my favorite, or the gray, I don't know. But, moving on, I don't care, don't care, don't care. This right here, I don't know why Boone likes this. This spell out is trash, the graphic is okay, I guess. I like some of these Trifergs, not that Where's Waldo one. I wish these stripes were, were they, I don't know, I just feel like they were, that yellow one's pretty gas. Yeah, the yellow one's definitely a must cop. The Wise Up t-shirt, don't know what that's from. This t-shirt's really dope. I love whenever they incorporate their Triferg in to like some of the photos where they like implement it like when they did with Forrest Gump or they did one with Breakfast Club. I do not actually know what this graphic is from. If you guys do know, please educate me. What the fuck is this? This is disgusting. The Par t-shirt trash, Log On t-shirt trash, Cubes t-shirt trash. Okay, never mind. There's a lot of trash t-shirts, but there are some heaters, okay? I promise there's some heaters like this. Look at this pink t-shirt. This is gas. Look at that Blackberry with the P. And then if you look at the keyboard, it says Palace Skateboards. You can't even type what you want to type. You can't type much except for like Palace Skateboards or like maybe like lace or like board. You can't even type hi or hey, but that's fucking sick. I like that 90s style. I like that reference to the Blackberry, super dope. You got this rolled P3. This is pretty dope. I wish they would have done the little baby pissing and shit. Does she have, is she holding a testicle? Is she holding that little ball thing in the other one? I don't remember. I don't know if she's holding like a testicle that has cancer or maybe like a, a coconut or something, but I do not remember that part. Either way, super sick. They have used this graphic before. I love the gradient on these. These, ooh, this gray one is such a banger. Those colors are fire. I almost said a vibe. I almost said like Viber. Anyways, we're just gonna start saying that. Yeah, it's a Viber. 
The ripped t-shirt, once again, you have this uh, panther, this stone fucking panther ripping through. It looks almost like the tri is a little bit crooked, but um, looks super sick. Uh, this is gonna be a banger. This is like one of their main graphics that they leaked first, so I'm pretty sure that's gonna sell out. You got the beanies, these weird ass, like disgusting, like cow Chelsea boots. I don't know what the fuck these things are. Fucking gross. I don't, I'm really curious what Sanjeev's opinion of these would be, because I know he loves boots. That's like the boot god. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, the bags are I. The accessories are okay. This chair pin badge is super fucking gas. You got this little dude taking a piss. You got the palace afro comb, which is so absurd. The zoot saver. <laughs> the palace pea carabiner, I'm like indifferent. The palace whistle. I mean, you have some cool accessories, but overall, nothing too crazy to be honest. I would say that like the reason I like this palace season is because there are some pieces that I'm like, yo, that is so gas. I need that for my personal. Like the trousers. Some of the shirts I could definitely see being bangers. But yeah, I would probably agree actually. Now that I think about it, I think I need to retract the comment I left on Boone's page. I do agree it's probably like a 6.5 to a 7. Probably not a 7.5. But there are some bangers that I plan on copying for my personal collection. That being said, what do you guys plan on acquiring from this palace season? Let me know what you guys think of this palace season down in the comments below. Of course, while you're down there, smash that like button. Thank you guys so much. Follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at the Starlifts, T H E S D A R R L I F E. Oh, it's hot as fucking balls in here. All right. Anyways, peace. The fuck? Wait, how hot are balls? Like, I don't know why that's a phrase. I don't know. Anyways, peace. The fuck? Out. The bang, bitch, holler when you feel this. Fresh up out the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers.